if we forgot on that time, we would have gone in. Hello, fellas. This, this we have new, very new people here. A bit of a surprise and a bit of an odd one. Here to our left, we have an engine out of a car. Because this crazy man here sold his bike so he could upgrade the turbo, the injectors, slap in an LSD and an upgraded clutch. So this man is pretty crazy, but I like him. Update on where we're at. I have no idea what we're doing. That's why we've got mechanics here. <laughs> Today we should be putting the gearbox back yeah. on. We already and shot the turbo. Oh. Turbo. In the bar. Over here. There we go. Normally on this car there is a KO3. Right here is a KO4. So we've already swapped that. Huge brake kit right there. Um, clean the valves. That's the one thing we did. They were absolutely dirty. Injectors gonna go in. Injectors, here we got Mark 6R injectors. Um, there's a whole intake manifold. Here's the good old <coughs> rubbish bin right here. KO3. Yeah. 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 Engines out and no. already talking about cable ties on the engine. Hey. Oh. <laughs> the best one. It's just, it's just auxiliary, auxiliary coolant pump. You know the one oh. when you turn the engine off? Keeps running coolant mm -hmm. through the turbo. Cool it down. And that little retainer. That should be okay, I think. Broken. Yeah. Nothing to worry She'll about. Right. She'll be She'll right. Be right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. No engine. Gone. Oh, like this, this could have been my car. Could have gotten upgraded, yeah, continuing with it. If I kept it, I could have. But this is crazy. See, this, this is what I used to be a part of, right here. This whole squad. Till I, till I sold mine. It's just past 6 a.m. in the morning. I brought some balls. And we're working on this. This is beautiful. So what's, what's exactly that we're doing now? Put the injectors into intake. Yep. So at this point, it's putting everything back in. Everything back in. Okay. If you guys want to wonder why, um, I'm recording now while the engine's going back in after all the upgrades is because <laughs> um, big man Seb over here, he <laughs> he decided to start working on the car. Vito, you know, he, he invited him over for uh, coffee. Yeah, I, I invited him to sort of see what I've done so far because I took the bumper off. Yeah, the basic stuff that you don't yeah, even need to record. I, I told him, I said, stop by for a coffee so you can see what I've done and so you can see what has to be done for the very next day that we planned. And he goes, yeah, yeah, okay, no worries, I'm coming for a coffee. <laughs> and he pulled the tools out of his car and within two hours engine was sitting right there. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're putting the intake and all of that back on. Whole engine's going back. Assembling all of it is all done. Uh, the gearbox here has been swapped out with an LSD. Um, we've got the, that's the old clutch right there. And then the new one straight down there. I'll go show you the new one up close. Here's the upgraded clutch. Oh, that's looking hot. I like that. Easiest tuning. <laughs> Funny thing is, I've never ever worked on a car with its engine out. Uh, much easier. Much easier. Well, yeah. mm, but I've only, I've only, I've only been alive for 19 years. RS4. RS4. See, when you upgrade the high pressure fuel pump, this is what starts restricting it, and this is what you need to upgrade. Um, that is going to be soft right over here, where you see Big Seb. Uh, well, nothing, nothing much more, but just, just to get to it. There's the engine mount. I remember that bad boy. Because yeah, this one's just... Mine was shot on mine. I mean, mine was replaced, if you remember the knocking noise. But that was just the top um, bolt. Was yeah, loose. I mean, if you can if you can move them by two fingers, they're not good for, yeah. for engine all that part. So, Ooh, the new one. New set. The other side. Gearbox mm -hmm. mount. So what's happening now is, like I mentioned, we're assembling it all, putting it back in the car. This is sick. Vito invited me over to record this and help him out with it. Uh, Seb over here has that grey Mark V. Vito's got this black one. Um, Bry's got a Mark VI. Unfortunately, when you do sell a car, you do, and you, and you want to change to a different car, nothing related to this, um, you sort of lose this, lose this vibe, lose this awesome stuff. We'd have such great memories together. Went to the drag strip. He had an issue with his car, he took all the piping, popped off. 
We said, no, we're not going on the track. We jacked up his car and just tried to fix it as much as we can. Fortunately, in the end, in the end we couldn't because we didn't have the tools. We didn't expect it to happen. But yeah, he, he fixed it, went back the next time and then just ran. So this bit now is uh, applying this. Then we're going to plunk that straight on to the intake. The valves are all cleaned. Uh, yeah, it should, should be pretty sick. I just replaced the cam for lower here because we've done that before. It's pretty sick. Honestly, I love it. Seeing a whole, I'm working on an engine outside of a car. This, I'm like really happy to work um, work on this car. We're gonna we're gonna get to it, mate. When Harris sees this, oh, Harris, Ooh. who's Harris? <laughs> oh, is that the guy who's always working? Uh. That must be Harris. <laughs> you know any Harris? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Fifteen no stick. <laughs> <laughs> I did PCB delete. Ooh. I got the rid of oil catch can. I'll try yeah, to. Yeah. No more catch can? It didn't really, it didn't really do much, huh? Mm, that's why I like, if, if I'd empty it like every 12 months, there'd be maybe a cup of oil in this. Mm. It's not Big moment. Big things. Try not drop injectors. There we go. So now all we have to do is push it into the injector uh. hole. All of that the intake in. It's a bit tough for patience. Never force anything. Also, we dropped a screwdriver in the oil. Manifold is on. All connected. Where's now it's just triple here? checking everything to make sure everything is fine. Because it is the intake manifold is going to be pushing in 20 psi boost, possibly more. So you got to make sure that's all on properly. No struggles, nothing like that. The sun is rising. Time is unknown. The manifold's on. Uh, just connecting everything back up. This engine will be going back in soon. Main bits are all done there. Uh, we're going to be getting the engine crane ready soon. The engine's going back in. And yeah, so my job now is to just take this one off. Little things here and there. I'll get to it. And once that's done and we start moving it, I'll show you a time lapse of it. Wait, wait. No, it's just aligning it so everything fits in perfectly. Getting underneath, making sure See? all connections go where they're supposed to. It's a careful process.
We are proceeding. All right, so we are back after a very long process. This process is now oh, entirely right. trying to connect all the cables. Are you going to remove the ACU? Uh, yes, we'll need to do that so I can flush um, the Pull it out now. Oh, you want to yeah. start it first? We, right, we can can't see, start it's pretty... it without the injectors being matched. It won't work. Because if you put it upgraded injectors in there, yeah. they're a different uh, CC to the standard ones. Uh -huh. Won't start. Here's the tuner, by the way. If you guys want to know, the European tuner. Uh -huh. As you can see, see well, there's the ECU. As you can see, pretty, pretty crazy at the moment. Um, all this stuff's going done. Um, yeah, I've got Vito's ECU, so I'm gonna throw that out. Vito, you don't need this anymore, do you? No, oh, it's right. <laughs> There we go. That's. The gas gonna be yours, you can do that a fat tune. Yeah, there's a lot happening here. Yep, it's, it's pretty crazy at the moment. We've done everything, we've cleaned everything, or changed the oil filter, all of the necessary stuff for that. He's gonna get to the tuning, so he can calibrate all of that to get all the parts working. A big update on this, the whole front end has been put on. Set this thing straight on, all the bolts there. It's pretty much that bit, so straightforward. <laughs> Painted the door valve so that looks all nice. But it's coming together. This will definitely start today. ECU tune is all complete. He finished that just there with his gear. Still going pretty crazy. All we gotta do now is connect this up, last of the piping, and then put all of the liquids in. Twin to cooler. The twin to cooler. We should leave that to Saudi because it's not fuel. Is he qualified? Yeah, I'm a qualified twin to cooler solar. Oh no. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying anything about that qualification. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna continue further here. Putting that in, putting the front mount in, or the twin to cooler setup, reconnecting the last of the hoses. Progress on this, all wires and stuff, I believe is all plugged in now. Last of the last things is the front mount, and then in a few minutes, we'll be starting this car. So much progression, this engine was out when I first arrived and it's back in the car, Not which is awesome. Here we've got Bri, the legend. He's doing, um, making me <coughs> coolant. Um, that's going well. <laughs> that's why you got one of those cold and flu tablets. Yeah. Smells <laughs> good. Fluids are going in, oh, as we mentioned. On, you, couldn't oh. have, you couldn't have done that any better. Oh. He's feeding it? Yeah, he's built it, man. Oh, he's, he's feeding it in there. He's had practice. No joke, he's gone all the way in. Hey, oh, don't overfill it, otherwise it'll start leaking. Whoa. What? We need to put the uh, <laughs> gearbox oil. <laughs> oh, you haven't got gearbox oil either. Did you? Did he not? No, no, he, no, no. he said it, he said it already. Gearbox oil is in. Hey, yeah. hey you need to bleed it. Good. You give me E12. What's that? <laughs> Oh, I, 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 I'll just may as well talk to you. I have no idea what's going on. Um, I do have some idea. I'm, uh, I'm the manager of Survey. I'm Survey. Yep. This man. I'm observing. Yes. This is. I'm making sure that the mechanics are doing the right job. Because I, I know nothing. Also, if you guys don't know who Josh is, Josh, as you can see, Hello. LM Tuning. <laughs> He's the one that goes heads and tunes European cars. Yes. He's tuning this one. Oh, he I also tune my own dies. Can't forget the Velocity. Hyundai's, Velocity's, Velocity's. A lot of European cars. He does an amazing job. Knows what he's doing. Keep to myself. <laughs> yes. But if you request flames, he'll provide flames. What you request, he can give. Just don't request a blown engine. That's it. No. <laughs> I haven't blown an engine. Actually, I gave a client no lift shift and anti lag in Greece, and he did five launches consecutively and blew his engine. But that's I mean, that obviously, like, you can tune someone's car, but if they don't have mods that support it, uh, I mean, right. come on. Yeah, no, he had, he had an engine. It had, I think, 190,000 Ks on it. Yeah. A stock bottom end. K04 hybrid. Damn. Yeah, he asked me for it. So I got it. So you know. Uh, don't, you know, don't, don't that do stuff it. does damage the engine, so it's not always a tuner's fault in the end. It's your fault as well if you don't take care of the car. Now that that's in, we're gonna go to the part where we start this car. I just say these two guys, see this guy here, and that guy over there on the phone. Yeah, they were the ones that did the most work. They are the ones that who they came took the engine out and put it in. Came at six this morning and they said the car will be running by twelve o'clock. Guys, fucking six hours. Seven minutes tight, past twelve. So. Mm. Say, so, mate, you think more than me? Thank you, brother. Good work, man. Good work. All right, hold on. Ignition on. Listen to that. Bonjour. 
nervous after so long. Everything is done and in. Nobody knows this except for us four. And the other dude that was here but he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay, just, you can if you want. Yeah, just showing some, cool. so some work going on. So it's connected and it's come up as being the um, edition 30 issue. Sick. It's probably That's what we want to do. Lost communication with TCM, so it thinks it's automatic. It's definitely not. Let's, let's code that out. Last bits of coding till it starts. This tool here, a lot of deal, not, not necessarily just dealers, but also independent mechanic workshops, they'll have something like an Autel or a launch. Mm. And what it allows them to do is communicate with a whole list of vehicles. The reason I chose Autel is because my mechanics already have launch. Yep. Launch is another diagnostic system uh, based on Android, just like this one is. And um, yeah, basically it allows you to do vehicles uh, from you know Asia, Europe, you know anything from Hyundai to Maybach. And, the reason I bought this one is so I could do advanced programming and logging um, with all platforms. I've got VCP, which is uh, called VagCam Pro that I use for Volkswagen Audi Group. This one here I use on everything outside of Volkswagen Audi Group. I know we've got a Volkswagen here. It's yep. a lot easier to use a tablet than yeah. it is to get out my laptop yeah, and all enough. that sort of shit to do the same thing. Basic setting. So what we want to do is basically do a throttle body adaption and put the channel number so 060. Okay, that's the throttle yep. body. Go OK. Prerequisites, ignition on, engine off, no worries, we've got that. So we do on. Done the throttle body dashing, fantastic. Nice. Cool. So and then it does adapt okay when it's done. Now what we'll do? Ready? Vito, are you ready? What? So, don't crack, don't crack. I'm not gonna crack. My hand is here. Oh fuck. That could have been funny. All right, so what's happening now? Where's the, where's the... So they're going to disconnect the ignition coils. Yep. The reason why they're doing that is so the car doesn't spark and it allows it to crank. Mm. What we're doing by cranking the engine is allowing oil, pre no, oil no, pressure no, to build no, up no, in no, the no, basically the circulation Oops. of uh, different liquids. <laughs> no. And um, once that's all done, we'll start the car by putting the uh, ignition coils plugged back in. And yeah, we'll just... I guess put it back together. Yeah, After that, take it for a drive, to... get it up to operating temperature, uh, and uh, I guess once Vito is done, the amount of kilometers required to break in the new clutch, we'll uh, go ahead and proceed with tuning. Sweet. So right now, it's just got a standard map on it from uh, Edition Thirty. Easy. Yeah. Sweet. Ready? Yep. Yeah. All right. How long am I cranking for, guys? Uh, just crank it. We'll tell you stop. We'll tell you stop. Yeah, yeah. Yep, so the coils fine. are out. It's cranking it just so everything can go through, like Josh mentioned. And now it's plugging all of it back That's in. Moving, yeah. All right. Moving. All right. Now it's ready. So are we, are we start, are we starting? Now we're starting. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're starting. We're Here we go. Delete the trouble codes. Okay. Yeah. Easy. Because <coughs> obviously it thinks the fucking coils don't exist. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's a little bit dry, but it's circulating through now. That's going to start going down slowly. Cool it. But this car is now working with the KO4 upgraded injectors and all these additions. The whole engine was out this morning, back in and running. It's got a bit of smoke there. That's because of all of our hands, our oil, the oil from my hands and everything's been on it. And that's all just like burning up now. As you can see, Underneath the car still on its jacks, no leaks, nothing like that, belt's running fine, really good sign. The smoke's going off slowly, but yeah, there we go, it's running, it's the main thing. It's awesome. The job has been complete, upgrade has been complete. All right, everyone, that's gonna be it. We've completed it, just diagnosing it all, making sure it's all good. It was awesome throughout this whole day to do all of this stuff, get some amazing footage. Thanks to these guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Until you find your way back home.